Hey guys, Red Ranger Kosa here, and today I'm going to teach you about compounds and writing of chemical formula. So today we are going to learn the definition, properties, differences, examples, exercise, and quiz. So first of all. What do you mean by compound? What is a compound? Compounds are pure substances that are made up of two or more elements present in a definite ratio and can be broken down into elements by chemical means. So basically, compounds are pure substances which are made by combining two or more elements this is a simple definition but this here which i have wrote that is more what do you call explaining definition so now examples so what are the examples of compounds examples are water carbon dioxide sodium chloride and sulfur dioxide so why is water a compound because water is made up of two elements hydrogen and oxygen H two O. That's the symbol of water. Why is carbon dioxide made a compound? Because C and O, carbon and oxygen, mixed together makes carbon dioxide. Here it is written also. Carbon and oxygen combined in a fixed proportion to give compound called carbon dioxide, which are common chemical compounds. Common chemical compounds are water, ammonia, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen peroxide. Next are properties of compound. The first property is the definition. Compounds are pure substances formed chemically from two or more elements in a definite ratio. Compounds are homogeneous substances. Compounds have a definite set of properties. Components element. In a compound, do not retain their own properties. Components in a compound can be separated by chemical means only. Look, elements can be separated by physical means also, but compounds can only be separated. By chemical means only. So keep that in mind. Compounds have characteristics boiling and melting point. Which two characteristics does compound has? Boiling and melting point. So now, what is the difference? between elements and compounds element is made up of one kind of atom so whereas compounds is made up of two or more kinds of atoms so basically element are made of one kind of atom 
and compounds are made of two or more kinds of atoms. Elements cannot be broken down into two or simpler substances by physical or chemical means. Whereas compounds cannot be broken down into two or more simpler substances by physical means but can be broken down by chemical means. So elements cannot be broken down into any simpler substance but compounds can be broken into, subst into simple substance by chemical means only. Elements have their set have their own set of properties whereas properties of compounds differ from those of their elements. So compounds properties differ from the properties of its element. So like in water, water is a compound H2O, but there are two elements which make a compound, water, hydrogen and oxygen. So the properties of hydrogen and oxygen will diff always differ from the properties of the compound water. So the example of elements are hydrogen, sodium and oxygen. Example of compounds are water and carbon dioxide. So there are more examples but I have taken the common ones. Now we come to chemical formula. What do you understand by the term chemical formula? Chemical formula or molecular formula. So you can call chemical formula as molecular formula also of a compound. Denotes the number of atoms of each element present in a compound. Example, water H2O, carbon dioxide CO2, calcium hydroxide Ca bracket OH bracket 2. So again, these are the common examples. There are more chemical formulas, but these are the simple ones. And behind this is a method to write, which I'm going to teach you today. Information. What is the information provided by the chemical formula of a compound? So the information are the types of elements present in a compound. The number of atoms of elements present in a compound. So, by the chemical formula, we get to know the types of elements present in a compound plus the number of atoms of elements present in a compound. So, these two information we get from chemical formula. Writing a chemical formula is divided into two parts, symbols and valence. They both can be either an element or a radical. So we, have, we already know what are elements from these differences. But radical, I'm going to tell you what it is, and symbols and valence. So these two are the main things which we need to know.
before writing a chemical formula. Here is a definition of symbol, valency, and radical. So, symbol. What is a symbol? The short form or abbreviated name of the element or radical. So, look. What is this H2O, CO2, CA bracket, OH2? What is this? This is a symbol. Every compound or element has a specific symbol that is the short form or abbreviated form of the element or radical. Now, what is valency? Valency the combining capacity of an element so the combined capacity of an element is valency this right here this hole this hole is the definition now here it is written some more information the valency of metals are positive and therefore metals are called electropositive in nature so metals have positive valency that's why they are called electropositive in nature the valency of non metals are negative and therefore non metals are called electro negative now what is radical radical is a group of atom of different elements or single element behaving as single unit and having a charge example n h plus n o three minus now the symbols of elements metals and non metals so we were talking about symbols in the definitions now I'm going to give you a chart in which there are some common names of metals, non-metals and their symbols. Elements are divided into two parts, metals and non-metals. Do not think metals and non-metals are some other topic. They are not. Sodium. Sodium is a metal. And the symbol of sodium is N. A and the symbols are written in this same form like N sodium is N and A small small A it cannot be capital A or it will be wrong sodium is N and small A potassium is capital K calcium is C small A Magnesium is M small g. Aluminium is A small l. Zinc is Z small n. And here are non metals. Chlorine is C capital L. Brom, wait, why is it I over here? It should be L. So now chlorine is C and small l. Bromine is B. 
small r iud is capital i oxygen is capital o sulfur is capital s and carbon is capital c as i told you over here where is it c carbon and o oxygen makes carbon dioxide now writing of now writing of chemical formula we write the symbols of elements we write the valency of each element below the symbol of element we cross multiply the valency and exchange them between the elements this is just for note you can write this in a copy or somewhere these are the steps the format there are five steps namely the first step is write the name of the element or radical remember there can be one radical and one element in only one name example calcium hydroxide in this calcium is an element and hydroxide is a radical and combine it calcium hydroxide step 2 write the symbol of the name of element or radical under the name so example sodium sodium symbol is na potassium is k so this we i will explain with the chart no chart in the exercise step 3 write the valency under the symbol of element or radical for example c a wait for example c a is calcium and o h is hydroxide so calcium's valency is plus 2 positive 2 and hydroxide's valency is minus 1 negative 1 step 4 cross multiply the valency with the symbols example if there are two symbols c a and o h these are calcium and hydroxide only i try to use only one example their valency is c a is equal to positive 2 and o h is equal to minus 1 then after cross multiplying c a will have valency minus 1 and OH will have valency positive 2. So CA had positive 2, but now hydroxide has positive 2. And hydroxide's valency was minus 1. Now calcium's valency becomes minus 1. So, like we exchange, exchange between the two elements or radicals, whatever. Step 5. Write the answer in correct form. Example, the answer of CaOH is Ca is equal to minus 1 and OH is equal to plus 2. Then the answer will be written as Ca bracket OH2. Note. <laughs> Excuse me.
Note that if the valency is less than two, like here C A was minus one, so we do not write it in the answer. Like over here, this is answer. This. Now here, look, O H hydroxide had valency two, so we write it. But C A had the valency minus one, so we do not write. And plus and minus is just for understanding. We also do not write it. And here, and if there is a radical. Hydroxide was a radical, so it will always be written in brackets. This O H was a radical, so it is written in brackets. Now this is the exercise. You write it fast. I am going to give you three minutes. Okay, but first you need more time to understand. So the first was sodium chloride. Sodium was an element. And chloride was also an element. So the answer will be written as sodium chloride. First the name of the element. Then under the name, both of the symbols, sodium is Na, chloride is Cl. Now, sodium valency is plus one, and chloride is minus one. So now crisscross, Cl becomes plus one, Na becomes minus one. So as the valency both the valencies are under two are less than two so we will not write it simply we will write n a c l this is a chemical formula of answer one now potassium carbonate is potassium carbonate then the symbol Potassium is K and carbonate is CO three. The valency of K is plus one and CO three is minus two. Crisscross CO three becomes one, K becomes two. So one was less than two. So we will only write K two and then this whole CO three. Now number three, calcium hydroxide, CaOH, Ca is plus two, OH is minus one, crisscross, Ca becomes minus one, OH becomes two. Answer is Ca. OH was a radical, remember? So it is written in brackets. OH and two. Zinc sulfate. Sulfate is also a radical. So zinc is Z n. Z small n. Sulfate is S O four. Plus both the valencies are two. So crisscross zinc chloride also two. S O four also two. So now we will write Z n two. Bracket S O four bracket two. Now there were two the same common valency, so we will cut it become zero. Remove the brackets. Answer will be Z N S O four. This is necessary. Aluminium nitrate. 
एल्यूमिनियम इज ए एल नाइट्रेट इज एन ओ थ्री एल्यूमिनियम इज प्लस थ्री एन ओ थ्री इज माइनस वन क्रिस क्रॉस ए एल बिकम्स माइनस वन एन ओ थ्री बिकम्स प्लस थ्री ए एल वी विल नॉट राइट वन बिकॉज इट इज लेस देन बिकॉज इट इज लेस देन टू ब्रैकेट एन ओ थ्री एज नाइट्रेट इज ऑल्सो ए रेडिकल एंड देन थ्री दिस वैलेंसी नाउ आंसर फोर इज जिंक सल्फेट नो वी हैव डन आंसर फोर आंसर फाइव इज एल्यूमिनियम नाइट्रेट which we have already done now answer 6 sodium sulfide sulfide sodium sulfide sodium is na sulfide is s and a is plus 1 s is minus 2 cross cross and a becomes minus 2 s becomes plus 1 they both are elements so na2s now the last is calcium oxide calcium oxide ca is calcium oxide is o ca is plus 2 o is minus 2 cross cross again so answer can see a2o2 Two two cuts. Answer is C A O. Now this is quiz time. So now you will do all these. You think these are the same? Look, the first elements are same, but the over here the next word are not same. so you will solve this and tell me in the comments which who ever comments first will be the winner so let's see who will win okay so sodium sulfate calcium nitrate zinc carbonate aluminium sulfate sodium hydroxide calcium sulfide and potassium oxide d n thanks for watching guys and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i will also give you one more challenge can you guys bring me to 10k subscribers i know you can so viewers please subscribe to my channel 90% of my viewers are not subscribed so please subscribe thank you